Cryptozoology is the study of hidden animals. We're going to talk about Michele Mbembe, also known as the dinosaur of the Congo. Michele Mbembe is a large creature that is said to inhabit the Congo River Basin in West Central Africa, especially the area around Lake Tele. This is a freshwater lake in the north of the Republic of the Congo. The swampy jungle in that area has only been partly explored even today. It is a harsh, wild area. Makeli Mbembe is Lingala for one who stops the flow of rivers. There are many varying descriptions of Makeli Mbembe, but it is generally held to be a large, four-legged herbivorous animal with smooth greyish skin and with a long neck and a long tail. While there has been no definitive proof for the existence of Makeli Mbembe, it may well be that there, in the farthest reaches of the Congo jungle, lives a living dinosaur. In 1776, a French Catholic missionary, l'abbé Livain Bonaventure Poyart, wrote about the Congo region where he had worked. He described an account by fellow missionaries of the track of an unknown animal which they did not see, but which must have been monstrous. The marks of the claws were seen on the ground. The footprints measured nearly three feet in circumference and the distance between each was almost eight feet. It was clear from the disposition of the footsteps that the creature had been walking, not running. It was therefore very large. In 1913, the German Ludwig von Stein was conducting a survey of the German colonies in what is today Cameroon. He heard tales of Michele and Bembe and, though unconvinced, mentioned the stories in his report. He wrote, The animal is said to be of a brownish-grey colour with a smooth skin. Its size is approximately that of an elephant. It is said to have a long and very flexible neck and only one tooth, but a very long one. Some say it is a horn. A few spoke about a long, muscular tail like that of an alligator. Canoes coming near it are said to be doomed. The animal is said to attack the vessels at once and to kill the crews, but without eating the bodies. He also wrote, The creature is said to live in the caves that have been washed out by the river in the clay. It is said to climb the shores even at daytime in search of food. Its diet is said to be entirely vegetable. Von Stein's account, added to other reports from elsewhere, created much interest in Michele and Bembe. Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's The Lost World had been published in 1912. While that story of explorers finding living dinosaurs had been set in the South American Amazon rather than the African Congo, the parallels were clear to see. It soon became the belief that if Michele Mbembe existed, then it must be a sauropod, a group of dinosaurs with long necks, long tails and four thick legs. The most popular choice was a Brontosaurus. Several expeditions to the Congo in search of Michele Mbembe were carried out in the later 20th century. In 1980 and then again in 1981, the University of Chicago biologist Roy Mackel went to the Congo to look for Michele Mbembe. While he and his companions did not see the creature or gather any actual physical evidence, they did accumulate many first-hand accounts from the natives of the area. The accounts consistently described a long-necked dinosaur. When shown pictures of various animals, the pygmies instantly recognised a drawing of a Brontosaurus as being that of Michele Mbembe. They said that even hippos, who are the world's deadliest large land mammals, were frightened of Michele Mbembe, and the roar made gorillas dive for cover. One story tells of an incident in 1959 Lake Tele is a popular source for lungfish and perch among the natives. Three Michele Mbembe's had been seen near the channels connecting the lake to the Bai River, so a barrier of wooden stakes was constructed to keep them out of the lake. One of the creatures attacked the barrier, but was killed by the natives. They cut it up and cooked it. They all died. I met with Roy Mackle in 1985 and we talked about another expedition. 
Though this never materialized, there have been others, one as recently as 2018. So far, no firm sighting has been obtained. It may be that Michele Mbembe is pure myth, possibly arising out of local legends of the black rhinoceros once common in the Congo. This might explain the singular horn of some accounts. But surely, if a modern-day relic dinosaur exists, it must be in such an area as the wild, swampy Congo.